As a child, I remember being open, loving, and outgoing. We all have that certain kind of innocence about us when we're young. We talk to strangers, we trust everyone, we love most people, we're brutally honest, we wake up without a care, we do what we want because we want to, and this is normal. Kids will be kids. Most of us don't realize that we aren't the only ones who grew up that way. I think the point that I realized that innocence was just something everyone had as children and that some of us would eventually grow out of was my, when my granny died. That was, and in a way still is, my biggest brick wall yet. It was like a loss of innocence that day when I came home from camp to hear that I'd never get to tell granny all about it. It hurt. How could she leave? What did I do for her to leave me here alone? See, my granny was my best friend. When my mom couldn't be there to take care of me, my granny was. She did it all. I thought she'd live forever. I think that when she died, something in me snapped or a piece of me was lost and that innocence of my childhood turned into something dark and twisted, depression and anxiety. I didn't know what that feeling was, the feeling of hopelessness and that everything was my fault. I thought it was normal. Somehow I managed to convince myself that wanting to die every day was typical. So I didn't tell anyone. Not my mom, not my family, not my friends, not anyone. I didn't want to accept that something could possibly be wrong with me, that I was crazy. So I suppressed and hid it. A smile was my greatest camouflage. I wore it all the time. And as I grew without closure, things got worse. They spiraled out of control. People would talk to me and I'd push them away. I'd never let anyone get too close because I believed that if I did, they'd all just leave. Or if I did let someone get past my walls, I'd constantly find ways to push them out again, like isolating myself from them or doing things to make them hate me. I'd go off and get angry for no reason at people who were just trying to help. The strangest part of it all was that I didn't really know why. I just felt like it had to be done. I told myself that everyone does that. Everyone has hard times. And I was just this way because I was grieving. In a way, I was right because everyone does have low points in their lives. But where I was wrong was mine lasted until, well, now. I didn't know how to fix it. Instead, I did things that I knew no one else did. I would cut myself or burn myself or it was usually just to punish myself for everything that was my fault or when I was so down that I felt like I was dead. It was something to remind me that I was here. I was alive. But the problem was at the time, I felt like everything was my fault. All the time. Anxiety told me that everyone hated me, that I was alone. And I have no idea how I could convince myself that those things were normal and that everyone was like that, because I knew it was messed up and weird. I just didn't know how to deal with those feelings or how to cope. I didn't know what to do. That's when I realized that I didn't know who I was anymore. I let the depression and anxiety become me. I let it take over and consume me. I lost myself along with that innocence. What helped me realize this were my friends. The ones that wouldn't let me shut them out. The ones who wouldn't let me push them away. People who hadn't entirely lost their own innocence. Those friends showed me that there was a reason to wake up every day and love life, love myself. To love who I was and why I was here. It just feels amazing. It feels amazing on those days where I wake up and just think that I'm beautiful. And to be able to look at myself in the mirror and not hate the person I see every day. I don't always see that girl who cries or yells or cuts for no reason anymore. Now I see a girl who is happy to be alive, who loves her friends and is working on loving herself. I admit I'm not all fixed. I still have times when I can't stand in crowds or in front of people because my anxiety tells me they're all laughing at me. 
I still have low times when I cry in the bathroom at home or at school because I feel so alone. But it's better. It's not as often anymore. I'm getting better. But I guess what I'm trying to say is, amidst all the problems, the messed up things in the world, the hard times, you can't lose sight of yourself. You can't lose sight of your purpose, your future. I'm not saying to be selfish. You can live to help others. You can love everyone else and take care of your friends and your loved ones. Just don't forget yourself. Don't let yourself get lost in the darkness, in the dark times. Don't let yourself die inside. Try to find the light in every situation. Everything may seem hopeless, but there's always a way out. Even the darkest nights give way to day. This is not the end. Everything still has time to get better. And you can't waste that time thinking that there's not a way out. You can't keep thinking that there's no that there's no purpose, that it's all over. And if you lose sight of that, if you lose sight of yourself in the future, just remember you're not alone. It's okay to not be strong all the time. It's okay to depend on your friends. It's okay. Everything will be okay. Just do one thing for me. As you grow up, try to hang on to some of that innocence. And for those days when you can't find anything good or beautiful about yourself, get a better mirror. Look a little closer. Stare a little longer. There's always a reason to keep going. There's a reason we've made it this far. A reason we haven't given up yet. We just have to find it.